Kelly from Messy Ever After here. Today I'm going to show you how I make flowers with an air compressor. I pre-mix a couple of colors in a large batch of white paint using Floetrol water and acrylic paint. I mix half Floetrol and a half paint, then stir in water until the mixture flows off my stir stick. I mix my colors in a small cup, I lightly stir, then I flip the canvas onto the cup and flip both over. I surround the cup with white paint and I spread evenly with a palette knife or spatula or something similar. I have this sitting around in my kitchen for cake decorating and it works perfectly for this. Once I spread out my white paint, I lift the cup and spread the colors downward. I tilt the canvas a little to get the colors to spread down. Then I add a little bit more white alongside the color and using my spatula, I spread the white over. This canvas turned out a little more saturated than I hoped for. Usually my intention is to have the colors hidden under the white layer, but I just rolled with it. Now if the paint is too thick, the flowers will get swallowed up, so I tilt the canvas a little to let some of the paint flow off. Onto the flowers, I use an applicator bottle filled with black paint, Floetrol, and water, the same mixture as before. I put a little bit of paint on the canvas and I use my air compressor to create the petals. It takes practice, so start with very light pressure and go from there. If your flowers start to morph and change shape too much, you might have too much water in your mixture. And as you can see, the purple and the red start to show through in some of those flowers and that's the best part about having that white covering over your colors because then the, the colors pop through even more. If you don't have a compressor, you can also use a straw or a can of compressed air. You can check out my previous tutorial video where I use both of those. And then once I have created the flowers, I let the painting dry for 24 hours. You can see it's lost some of its definition overnight. Some of the black paint got swallowed up, so that's when I come in with my fine line bottle. This bottle is filled with black acrylic paint and a little bit of water to help it flow out of the tip. You don't want to use a fluid mixture for this. And as I said in my last video, this is my favorite part of my paintings. It's the last 10% where everything comes together and it starts to look complete. Before I come in with these black lines, the the flowers kind of look like blobs and they don't have much definition anymore but you can see how quickly it comes together with just a little bit of detailing. And these bottles take a little bit of time to get used to as well. Uh, when I first started using them I couldn't get straight lines, it looked like I had a lot of shaky movements but it just takes time and I have to stretch my thumb a lot because using that pressure on your thumb gets, it gets pretty sore. So after I do the black, I let that dry, and then I come in with my white. Like I said, since these colors were a little more saturated than I intended, I wanted to add that white to really make the flowers pop against the background. And you can see just that little bit of detail is already making things look so much better. And the white mixture is the same as the black mixture. It's just white acrylic paint mixed with a little bit of water. And there you have it, fluid flowers made with an air compressor and a little bit of fine lining. Thanks for checking out this tutorial. If you have any questions or want to see something else from me, please comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more artsy goodness and follow me on Instagram and Facebook to stay updated on my creations. If you want to support the work I do, consider checking out my Patreon page. Or if you want to own this painting, you can visit my online store. It's in stock now. Now go get messy and I'll see you next time.